Good evening guys, MC Procrastin here for another 2 Minute Videos, part of 2 Minute Series. If you don't know what 2 Minute Series is about, check the video link below and it will tell you all about them. By the way, just before I get into things, if you see me screaming and biting and grabbing, I got little flies and mosquitoes everywhere, sand flies from New Zealand are lethal. Anyway, topic of today, MV Augusta 6 and 5. So remember a couple of videos ago, I pretty much said that I absolutely love MV Augusta and I'm really glad that they managed to save the company through um, Blue, uh, Black Ocean Finance, which is really, really quite a great story. Now, the other day, I can't help myself. I go on, on Trade Me, which is pretty much an eBay equivalent in New Zealand, but it is very different. And to be fair, when you say eBay is the same as Trade Me, people will get a little bit etchy in New Zealand. So I'm not going to say that just in case there's any Kiwis watching, but it's a similar type of concept. It's an online merchant thing that you allow yourself to buy from. Anyway, I was on there the other day and I found this really, really amazingly cheap MV Augusta 675. Now, as you know, I'm a thousand person, thousand through and through, and I don't normally look at the smaller bikes, but I will say the great thing about this, I'm so, I've, I said before, I really like the thought of buying one of the older bikes or possibly possibly an older early F4000. Now, this could be the best of both worlds. This is a 2013 model, it's in the black silver with the red trellis frame. Looks absolutely brilliant. It's got 22,000 Ks on it, and apparently it's in pretty good condition, and it's for 10,000 New Zealand dollars, which, compared to all the other bikes, is really, really cheap. It's from a dealer, so hopefully there wouldn't be too much comeback from buying it, but in honest truth guys, I'm living in dreamland at the moment because I don't really want to spend another $10,000. But it just goes to show that if you're looking for something exotic, something amazing, something like MV Augusta, there are plenty of deals out there where you can pick them up pretty cheap and get a really, really good bike. Now, I've ridden the F3 800 and it was quite the odd bike to ride. I probably feel that you'd have to ride it for quite a wee while, a little bit like the Tuano to get used to the throttle response because it was different from what I'm used to. However, F675, F800, if you look at the reviews, the 675, everybody goes, don't get the 675, get the 800. So really speaking, I think if I was gonna get an MV Augusta F3 675, I would probably just get it because it's gonna be a second bike. So, anyway, with regards to second bikes, what do you think of the MV Augusta 675? Do you like the look of it? Do you like what they've actually done? Because this bike first came into fruition in 2012, and it really did sort of bolster the awareness of MV Augusta. It took something that was quite an exotic brand, very expensive, and really only suited to the select few, and made it more popular with other people that perhaps didn't have the same disposable income, but it was still an expensive bike like for like anyway that's mv augusta you gotta love the brand and for now it's another two minute video mc procrastinator out